we're going to integrate x squared sine x dx. We said that we'll take u as, so u dash is, v dash is, so v is minus cos x. OK, good. Let's put a little box around that so we know it's separate to the rest of the question. We then get uv, which is minus x squared cos x. Notice the fact that I pulled the x squared to the front. Why do we do that? Because it looks nice because so it doesn't, get confused, doesn't get confused with the argument. And then we're going to minus the integral of the two that we haven't used, which is these two, which is minus 2x cos x dx. Now, I'm going to rewrite that line because I don't like the minus and the minus here. So I'm going to write it as minus x squared cos x plus the integral of 2x cos x dx. And this is the thing here that I'm going to now do separately. So I'm now going to try and do 2x cos x dx. This time, u is 2x, u dash is 2, v dash is cos x, so v is sine x. Let's box that off so that we know it's got nothing to do with what I'm working out. We then get u, v, which is 2x sine x, minus the integral of these two, which is 2 sine x dx. So that's 2x sine x. What's the integral of 2 sine x? Uh, minus, minus cos. Minus so it'll be minus 2 cos x, because the integral of sine x is minus cos x. I could put the plus c in, but I'm not going to do it just yet, because it makes it more confusing. The minus minus becomes the plus 2 cos x. Now I've got this thing, I'm going to put it in there. So I end up with my original question, which was the integral of x squared sine x dx is equal to the bit that I worked out before, which is minus x squared cos x plus, don't need to worry about the minus here, I can just go straight in, plus this bit, which is 2x sine x plus 2 cos x plus c. Okay. This is why integration, <laughs> like, look at that. It's such a mess of different things. But if you differentiate this, it will all collapse down to x squared sine x, which is really cool, actually, that something that looks as complex as this can differentiate to something as simple looking as this thing that we've got here. So the only ones that I want you to have a look at, they've actually come out really badly on here, question three. Um, I actually can't even read them properly from here. So I will do a screenshot, and I'll put question three on here. And then question three are going to be what you can work on now. And then I'll just let you to do some of these for homework. And then we'll, we'll come back to integration, by, to integration after we do the mock exams. Um, it is worth me saying at this stage, although we've still got a number of skills left, we have done the hardest stuff of integration already. OK? We, we're over the hill. Everything is going to be. The new stuff we learn is easier. The thing that becomes harder, no. Hamza, Hamza, you're not even from this class. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that's going to be hard is taking integration and working out which skill you use. But we'll do that over time. Okay. So I'm going to do a screenshot of those questions now for you.